that are saying that they are, they are not wise. Them that are saying that, I, I think they are the ones that are not wise. Because everybody, even a baby, they would like to leave this country. The way this situation is right now. Nigeria and even me, I would like to jack back. No, 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 that's about to still come back. Fair enough. No, fair no place like home. True. That side, that side, eh? That side is not heaven. I don't think they are coward. They have their reason for running. Because, like you all understand before, whatever, whenever the place they went to is not okay with them, they will come back and say, no place like home. True. They are not cowards. They are just going to, they are just going there to look for what to, they are just looking for their greener pastures. That's just it. So for us that are here, we, are, we don't still have the money, but <laughs> we are still praying to God to help us. Uh, that's their choice. I won't call them cowards. But I kind of feel like, how will you save like millions of naira because you want to travel out? And at the end of the day, if, what if, because people really need to have this thing in their mind, what if at the end of the day they deport them back? Where did they want to start from? Well, I won't actually say people that run away from the country are cowards in the sense of they went to seek for greener pastures. So, and those people in Nigeria, I won't say they are brave in the sense of where you see what you are looking for, how do I put it? Where you see what makes you better, that's where you stick. Depending on what you are looking at, that's not, I don't, I actually don't think it's cowardice. I think it is cowardice to actually stay back and watch something you cannot do anything with and keep staying. If you have an, if you have an opportunity to go and to make yourself better, to come and tackle what is here, why not? Well, having heard what the people have to say, I mean, there are diverse opinions at this point. And trust me, every one of these opinions are very valid. The people who live in Nigeria at the moment, do they have their good reasons for living in Nigeria at the moment? Well, I more than think so, if you ask me. But then again, those who are not living in Nigeria at the moment, some owing to the fact that they can't afford it at the moment, and then some owing to the fact that they are just really patriotic and they don't want to live in Nigeria as well. People like me. <laughs> Ever, I always pray every day for a better Nigeria because it feels like the economy is working against its own people, but we can only pray for the best. Well, this is what are you saying? And of course, we're getting opinions of people on the street. Thank you for watching, besties. This is your girl, Oluwa Damilola. Till next time. Ciao. <laughs> Dami. It's safe to say that Nigerians are generally patriotic people. They are proud of their country's rich culture and history, and they are willing to work hard to make Nigeria a better place. However, there are many challenges facing Nigeria, such as poverty, corruption, and insecurity. These challenges can sometimes dampen Nigerians' patriotism and continue to contribute to the increasing immigration of Nigerians to other countries in search of greener pastures. Dele Farotimi has, however, said that the Nigerians leaving Nigeria are cowards. So we are asking, do you agree? Please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-083-84663. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow. We Hi, ladies. <laughs> So, I mean, we heard what everyone had to say. Mm -hmm. And to a large extent, I agree with everybody, yeah. right? Someone had said, oh, that there's a reason why Nigerians are running. And when he said running, I'm like, you mean fleeing? <laughs> <laughs> because people are literally every. leaving the country every, every day. Yes. They are going through various means. People are searching for the best way to leave, the fastest way to leave. All they want to do is to get out of the country. Mm -hmm. And that's because of what is happening in the country. The economic state is, is, is really crazy. I was having a conversation with my friend today and she said, oh, that her uncle, I said, oh, that he wasn't expecting this. She said, what do you mean? Like, he said, um, what he said was he was voting for Emil Okon. Mm -hmm. And she said, but I told you, mm -hmm. right? Be before the election... I said these things to you and I told you why you shouldn't vote for this person, right? We've suffered enough. And if you can't see the suffering that has gone on in the past, at least look to the future and see that things might not change. And even before this present government, a lot of Nigerians have been suffering. Mm -hmm. So it didn't start now. Mm -hmm. It's something that has been ongoing for years. Mm -hmm. Since I was born till today. That song says I was born. You are now. I am getting old. I have never seen the country getting better. So 
But the truth <laughs> is, I am older now mm -hmm. and people are still Labor. complaining, yeah. right? The complaint is a lot. You realize that family members are leaving, friends are leaving. And the mm -hmm. honest truth is, it might not be as rosy as that over there. Mm -hmm. The grass might not be too green, but to a certain extent, it is green. It is greener than Nigeria, mm. right? For some people. Mm -hmm. We know that sometimes people actually go there and paint it and make it look like it is rosy, it is juicy. Once you get to to the abroad, you get to the UK, US, or yes, wherever, yes. immediately, in months, you're mm -hmm. making money and you're <laughs> living lavish. Mm -hmm. But then the honest truth is, that's not the case. Mm -hmm. Some people are suffering. But you know the astonishing thing about it is the fact that some people prefer... They rather suffer there mm. than stick it out here mm. in Nigeria. Mm. And so that's really sad. Yeah. That's really sad. The fact that we have gotten to this level because mm. ideally your country is your first identity and your country should have your loyalty, your patriotism, your best wishes, your prayers, all of it. Like, you know how no matter what you do to an American, they'll say, God bless her. Even if, the, even if someone killed their child today, They'll say, God bless America. Do you understand? that They've grown to that place where they have such faith in their country, right? So now back to the question, which is, are Nigerians cowards for leaving? First of all, no, I don't think they're cowards. Mm. And then we look at what is the situation of the country. Yes, you highlighted it. But also looking at the fact that, uh, oh my goodness, I think I had a blackout. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. That's okay. Oh That's God. absolutely okay. Oh my God. But yeah, you don't you don't stay loyal to people when you don't feel like they love you, mm. like they value you. Like Del Hart me said a lot of things, which I agree with him, but on this particular issue of um being a coward, I do not, right? Because he talked up he talked about levies and you know taxes. He also talked about uh, um, people, the public figures, and how they make fun of the the um, low income earners, allow them to breathe, and all whatnot, you know. And those things hurt. And there is a certain threshold people can hold on to, right? You can be a freedom fighter. You can carry Nigeria on your head. That doesn't mean that every other person should do the same. There were people who came out and fought for NSAC. They ended up losing people. It broke them. What did they do? They carried their bags and left. There were people like DJ Smith that she was here and for a long time she was being, what's the word? Like they were looking for her. So she had to yeah. leave as a refugee to Canada. And I think she's still there right now. So yes, these people, they are not, they are not cowards. There are so many reasons why people, even our leaders that they did not flee in Nigeria for medical reasons. You know, because there are Nigerians who are living. Um, um, Adiola, you were giving an example of your friend that left because her daughter needed stem, uh, stem surgery, yeah. so she had to leave and move there. For are you going to call such a person coward because Nigerian hospitals are not able to to cater to her medical needs? Yeah, you know, so that's a bit extreme. You. Let me come to you, Isi. Mm. What are your thoughts? Are Nigerians cowards for leaving? Well, far from being cowards. We are very far from being cowards, actually. I, I enjoyed watching that interview, but when it got to that part, I, I didn't quite, that didn't quite go well with me because we have a lot of questions that we need to ask, and these questions need to be answered. And how do we ask those questions? I can start with the salient questions such as, why are they leaving? Um, what means are they living with? Um, what are the reasons that they're leaving and where are they going? Do they feel that when they leave Nigeria, they would have better um, pasture, they would, they would walk into a greener pasture? See, I mean, basically. there are diverse opinions. And we also have to ask the question, can we die for Nigeria? If we want to say, okay, we are patriotic Nigerians, can we die for Nigeria? The, question, the questions are much. But we need to also understand this, that living in Nigeria, you have to be resilient. You have to be determined. You have to be independent. You have to learn to, you know, think outside the box of where, of what the economy or the, or the environment is throwing at you. You need, to, you need to think outside the box. And that has made us as Nigerians quite resolute and um, resilient in everything we do. And when we go outside, we 
we we excel in so many ways so we, can i bring it back home and say that the the country has groomed us in such a way that when we find ourselves outside the shores of the country we can actually hold our own without anybody you know instilling any sort of fear in us so again is it cowardice no it isn't cowardice it is mm -hmm. survival mm -hmm. nigerians are mm -hmm. trying to survive in any form in any way they find themselves and that is why if it, if it means they have to travel abroad to survive and have the, the level of sanity that they think they deserve, they would. If they think that they can stay back and, and face the jungle, like everybody is facing it, they would face the jungle. So mm -hmm. it's all relative to the reasons why they're staying or they're going. But again, there are lots of questions that need to be answered. And yes, there are a lot of answers that need to be given to Nigerians to give them that reason for them to stay back because they feel that the country has been excellently or exceedingly good to them. Mm. All right. Mm. Jill, I'm going to come to you next. <laughs> okay. But <laughs> let's take a short break. Right. I'll see you shortly. If you're just tuned in, it's our ladies' night out, and we are discussing daily Farouk Timi's comments on Ways Exclusive, where he said that Nigerians leaving Nigeria are cowards. Do you agree? Please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-803-84663. Tweet at us at Ways Show Africa One with the hashtag ways show our phone line is now open please call us on 070 i'll take that again 070 please remember to turn down your tv set so jella mm. over to you well uh i think that um you know saying that um Nigerians are cowards, you know, for leaving the country is um, a very, um, it's, it's, it's like an oversimplified answer to a complex situation. As a matter of fact, I would say that it takes absolute, it takes courage to leave Nigeria, to go live abroad. I agree. You are leaving the comfort that you know. You are leaving the people that you love. You are leaving a lot. You, you are leaving this, this um, thing you know so well. You are leaving mm -hmm. the security of being in your father's land. Because if anything happens, bef I mean, you can make one or two calls, yeah. right? There mm -hmm. is that security. You know, your family is here and all that. And then you're going to some place mm -hmm. where you probably have never been. And then you're starting life afresh with new laws, with a new culture you have no idea about, with a new life in such a way that you may suffer ridicule because you're probably speaking in a way they don't understand. Mm -hmm. There is that. There is the fact that you don't even know how they shop. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. You don't know how to communicate. It's as simple. And these things can, can give you this sense of depression. Right. Yes. You may get there, you don't have a job, but you still say that, you know what? For this reason, I choose to I just go and start all over again. Yeah. That's absolute courage. So you, I'm, I'm not sure that it is right. Okay, Jenna, hold that yeah. thought. We have a call. Right. Yeah, we have a caller. Youngest old man, can you hear us? How are you? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Long time. Long time. How are you? Good Thank you. Let's hear what yeah. you have to say. I think the, the, the word um, those living in Nigeria in the sense of Gapa, um, they are cowards from Delivery to me. Delivery to me is somebody that I deliver to me or whatever. I love that man. He's somebody that speaks from his heart and he speaks a lot with passion. Sometimes when I see him talk, I, I, I immediately remember the mm. You know, he talks directly, he talks to the soul, and he's a real somebody. But in this case, I differ with him. 
hundred percent. I don't really see it the way he's seen it. I don't really know what brought up to his own pers perspective or whatever. Rather, I would have, I would have, I would have loved him to say that those that are investing abroad are cowards. Mm. But not those that are going abroad to get a better life, to come home back, mm. to better their people at home. Not to prove, in fact, it's very hard for somebody to leave their loved ones. Some are even married, they leave their kids and their wife. See, you need to sit with somebody abroad, the average person, and see the emotions that come out from whenever he speaks about home. These guys miss home. They feel it. In fact, let me tell you, they suffer more than we do. Yeah. You need to get one and speak with them. But we can open a diaspora line and talk to them out to our hearts. Yeah. These people miss home. They, if you know that they're more correct than us about issues that happen here, Sometimes a guy, one of my friends, I don't know, call and tell me, oh boy, what really happened in this place? He had it on the day. I was saying, like, when? Where? How? Me, when they said, I don't know yet. He was there, like, he was there. He said, yeah, I should change the blood and this and this one. And, I feel, and when you go there, it's true. So when you say that they are cowards, for me, I, I totally disagree with him. 155%. You understand? But I love that man. And he made me understand a lot of things from a different perspective. But for this one, those that left this country, they left this country because they see a place that is even making them go mad and they are, okay, why is it that most people that live here and go there, you see them more productive? Because the enabling environment allows them to be productive. Mm. Mm. Thank you, youngest mm. old man. Mm. I honestly agree with him. Yeah. But let yeah. me finish. Let me let you finish. Yeah, you so, I mean, I, I, I think that... Um, Again, you see, on the on the flip side, you, you may want to look at where he is coming from. Yeah. He's looking at it that, okay, if everybody leaves, you're going because people did work to make that environment conducive. If we all go, or if we all leave, then who builds Nigeria? Well, we I, will I, not I, all leave. <laughs> <laughs> let's, just, let's just shut that down right there. We will not, there will always be a remnant. Even, even during rapture, there will still be a remnant. So we will not all leave. <laughs> I know, but of course, we all know that um, Mr. Dele Farid is a, is, is a passionate person about mm -hmm. Nigeria. And um, I want to say that I am I'm almost certain that he's speaking from that angle. Mm -hmm. You know, but even at that, even at that, the truth is not everyone would would put in the work to make the country better. That's, that's the honest truth. Yeah. Even in, play, in, in civilized countries of the world, Every day we still see violence erupting. Every day we still see people breaking the law, people making you question the fact that do I truly want to go and live in this country? So there would always people people migrate for different reasons. Yeah. All over people migrate from developed countries of the world to other so we, countries. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. People leave America to go and live in Kenya. Yeah, okay? there was actually a couple that recently they migrated for they were in the news, I think CNN. They migrated from the US to go live in Italy. I mean, Their yeah. reason was because they were tired of the gun violence exactly. in the US. Yeah. So people migrate for different reasons. So I think saying cowards, that's a bit stretching it. You know, um, I think it's insensitive. Yeah, it, it, it's true. Yeah, I think it's insensitive. Because I think you, you, there's one thing, sorry, mm -hmm. there's one thing to be passionate. There's mm -hmm. also another thing for you to be insensitive. I understand where you're coming from. But like Sanzi said, we cannot all yeah, be here, yeah, yeah. right? We Not cannot. everyone will leave. If you look at the income level or the income gap, mm -hmm. not a lot... For someone to be a stowaway in a ship or in a plane, you should know that they cannot afford to buy a flight ticket. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So that person is suffering. Mm -hmm. So when you have a government mm. who does not care mm. about its people, you're not doing anything to better the lives of people. Mm. And somehow, somewhere, someone is expecting them to be patriotic. Someone is expecting them to be courageous and mm -hmm. to stay. You're not even it's very difficult. It is incentive for people to stay. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, if you if you look at the technical professions, the um, health workers, different countries all over the world. I mean, those are their priorities mm -hmm. because they know that if anything happens, these are their front line. Yeah. You know, but in Nigeria, every day, and then you come. As a lawmaker or the government, you just come and say people are leaving. I would expect that if you're saying that you're looking towards um, transformation mm -hmm. or you're looking towards progress, do something to change thing, the exactly. narrative. The first thing you would do is to say, okay, you know what? Let me even safeguard the 
technical and the professional people in yeah. the country. First, yeah. let me offer some level of incentive for them to stay. Let me make it more attractive for them to be here rather than... Because again, you do know that when people in me medical field, when they leave Nigeria, going abroad, they're going to start all over again. Yes. yes. So the time, I am sure they would rather stay here. I am sure. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, you look at your age, you look at a lot of things, you've earned well in Nigeria, you live in a good place, comfortable, and you're leaving to go and start all over. All over a yeah, lot of people would hard. rather not do that. Yeah. So if they are doing that, you need to sit yourself down and ask. And, and it, I mean... It, <sighs> and there was something Owa said about um, people leaving when she was, you know, questioning mm -hmm. his comments. She was like, people are leaving because they want to get empowerment. Yeah right and coming from the economic hardship perspective there is better reward for labor outside of this country mm -hmm. it is true because i've seen it happen i know people that when they were here they were making let's say maybe 200 dollars mm. in in mm -hmm. in a month and maybe in a year they're making let's say 1500 dollars right but that in a year they're making yes there are bills they're making maybe like three thousand dollars some as high as eight thousand dollars and these are people in tech that the banks are using and you're paying them 150 and then you find your way and legally move abroad and you're earning as much as seven thousand five hundred dollars in a month right and then easy mm -hmm. said something um I think she said something about discipline that mm. sometimes Nigeria is a preparatory ground for these yeah. people because yeah. you can. Uh, okay. Hold that <laughs> we have a caller. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hi, thank you for calling. Hi, my name is Karen. Hi, Karen. Let's hear what you have to say. I, I thank you all for this opportunity for us to uh, contribute to this uh, discussion. Yeah. I respect uh, Mr. Denis Faratimi. He's one of those who are doing their best for our country. And I kind of see where he's coming from. But there are loads of us who have left Nigeria for decades. And we miss Nigeria desperately. There's no place like Nigeria. So it's not by choice that we chose to be elsewhere rather than stay and help build our country. Mm. It's not my choice. We wish Nigeria would be different. We wish Nigeria would be kind to its own citizens. Mm. How many of these CEOs that you see on TV parading themselves, whether in the form of bank or uh, private sector, how many of them really do help? How many of them really do give both? They parry themselves on TV like they're helping, they don't. And how many of these Nigerian like, big men would help ladies who are serious who have ideas? They would want to sleep with them. Mm. How many students go to university and their lecturers want to sleep with them? And even in the secondary school, Nigeria, deep down, is so corrupt that we have no choice. We love Nigeria more than any place on the face of the earth. I weep every day. I want to come back to Nigeria. Like loads of millions of us at first. I respect the power to be. And I see his point. But Nigeria is wicked to those people. Mm. And we're not happy where we are here. Mm. Yeah. I pray for Nigeria. Mm. And I pray that Nigeria will stay. And I pray that God will stay in Nigeria. Mm. I thank you all for all that you do, Osariwame and Hatim. You are fantastic, and you give us hope. Thank and you. I pray that Nigeria will come out of this rock that we're in. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I like what she said, right? Mm -hmm. I remember talking to a friend of mine who has been in Canada for a long time, mm -hmm. and she chose a particular Christmas to come back home. She came back, and she stayed for about five months. She had to quit her job there and she stayed back. She said, you know what? I need a break. Mm. And all this while we've been talking until one day she opened up about how things are over there. And we wept. Like, really? The You've been nights. going through this mm. and we did not know. Yeah. And, and there was one thing I said to her. I'm like, see, 
I would always be there for you. But then I know that me saying these are just words because I can't be there for you physically. Right. Obviously, our time zones and the country location is entirely different. Mm -hmm. Right. I wish I can do more. It doesn't make sense that you will go through something like this and you don't have anyone to hold your hands. And so many people are going through the same thing, be it UK, be it whatever country mm. they are in people are going through a lot a lot of people want to come back they don't want to stay there because mm -hmm. there's still racism you have to fight racism yeah. yes you the, the the money that you're working for every day a huge chunk of it Blood. goes yeah. to the government Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Taxes, bills, exactly. get to go to and you still have people who are over there and they're still funding the lifestyle of their relatives down here yes so by the time they send money back home they have barely, they have barely peanuts almost to take care of themselves yeah. Right, That's enough for you hear people who are saying, Oh, we're doing care jobs. Do you know what a care job is? Yes. You're working harsh weather. I was giving you uh, a, a gist mm -hmm. about someone who left here, went there, and then she, all she was doing was basically working as a uh, as a floating jigger. So she offload boxes from trucks or floating from the company, mm. put them into the trucks to be taken out for deliveries. And her shift is at night, oh wow, and it's very cold but you know what oprah said something that sometimes you can love i mean she attributed it to someone but i'm attributing it to a country right now somehow you can love someone so much but then away. yeah you can you can still work away because i love you too much but you're hurting me like the love i have for you is not beneficial to me it's hurting me yeah. right and so that's why you see people they leave but they, they they even know what is going on because that love you have for your country keeps you in the news you are watching, you are following up what is going on. And some of them even pray for Nigeria more than we in here yeah. pray for Nigeria. Because that love is genuine. It's your country. You can't change it. Right? Mm -hmm. But all we are looking for is, okay, right now, this is what I want. This is what my destiny is. This is what I want. The other day I was talking about positioning. Mm -hmm. There are certain things you want, even academic-wise, or medically, or financially, or uh, uh, maritally, or religious, whatever, for so many reasons. There are things you want that the country as it is right now, whether it's renewed hope, I'll be renewed and intensify <laughs> hardship. It just cannot offer you that, mm -hmm. right? And so at the end of the day, you are, you, are, you are down to taking this very difficult decision of starting up. Starting up fresh is hard. It's hard. I moved ah. to Abuja for two years or so. I was crying every day because I was ah. like, everything I know is in Lagos. It's inside the same Nigeria. Yeah. And then talking of people going abroad, you have to learn the language, learn the tax filing system, yeah. learn maybe go to school. And it's it's a lot. It's Come a on, lot. cut these people some slack. Like yeah, it it's <laughs> let's not even forget the remittances. People abroad mm -hmm. do back home. A lot of families would have perished. Yeah, if those remittances were not coming. So really, I'm I, I'm not. No, no. I agree with you. I think it's very insensitive. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's very insensitive. As it stands, we're in an mm -hmm. abusive relationship with Nigeria, and mm -hmm. yeah, we need to get out of it. Yeah. I, I don't know what's going to happen, yes, but the government needs to start doing better, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Because I want to live a healthy life, right? I want to have my family here. My and kids. Be happy. And then one thing about life is life without community mm. is not life. Mm -hmm. The only way you get to enjoy what you have and the money that you have that you're working hard for mm -hmm. is for the people around you mm -hmm. right but then i just want to play a little devil's advocate yeah. right about sanzi and Adela, you have a comment but yeah. we'll come to that so let me just play a little advocate i'm going to start with with easy okay. what <laughs> what do you think can happen that would make you leave nigeria for good <laughs> 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 there are different reasons, uh, but I, 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 I can't actually think of anything right now, but I know of a friend of mine who said that um, in her old age, Nigeria, Ni Nigeria might uh, uh, leave her in the lurch. So what she wants to do is leave the country so that she can have better health care um in uh, in her old age so that is what i know about so if i can have better health care in my old age why won't i leave nigeria mm. thank you for being very honest sandy you have a you have a comment oh yes i do um this says good evening my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying hashtag ways 
Dele priority mean Nigerian living are cowards? Do you agree? The answer is capital no. They are not cowards and can never be. I hold this man in high esteem and I am highly disappointed in him for making this statement. This statement is highly unacceptable. <laughs> you are talking about people relocating to a place that is better for them to get comfort. Everybody has a genuine reason to relocate. My dear beautiful sister Jennifer made mention of people relocating because of poverty, corruption and insecurity, which I agree. This is not the Nigeria everyone clamored for. For crying out loud, is everybody's destiny tied to suffering mm. and hardship? You anchor very well, Jennifer. Keep it up. And I know that Sister Owa will be proud of you. This is Daniel Ilo, Ray's regular fan. Thank you. We need to understand the context to which Dele Farutimi was speaking about the Nigerians leaving Nigeria to abroad as cowards. I agree with him on the context of Nigerians who are leaving Nigeria to abroad because of the political climate of the country as cowards because they they as nigerians are the ones who will change nigeria's political space apart from this i totally disagree with him because living in nigeria itself is hell on earth because nothing is actually working in nigeria in terms of security employment infrastructure wise healthcare system and so on nigeria does not create the enabling environment to make peace enjoy the peace of the mind to stay in Nigeria. Living in Nigeria is like living in a jungle. Santa. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Thank you, ladies. Before we go, do ensure you follow us on Instagram at Way Show Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment, and most importantly, follow all our social media engagements. And remember to like, share, comment, and invite your friends and family to watch us and follow us. If you missed today's quote, here it is again. Patriotism demands of us sustained sacrifice. And this is by Chiang Chai Ke. Oh my God. <laughs> Chiang Chai Ke. You know what? See you tomorrow at 8 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> to bring another great conversation to your screen. Thank you so much. <laughs>